Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder. That's better. Most other radiation sources in here are well contained. There's definitely tetrametric radiation nearby. But even with the gain boosted, it's getting drowned out by other sources of radiation in here. Jeffrey's tubes thump harmonics from all over the ship. I'll filter that out. There's still something drowning out the tetrametric radiation. I need to find it so I could filter it out as well. A little bit of harmless radiation leakage here, but enough to mask the tetrametric pulses. Easy enough to cancel out. There we go. I'm getting a clear tetrametric signal now. Found it. Excuse me, do you belong here? Commander Rydek. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it was you. Paul. Calloway, right? Yes, I... You know, it means a lot that you remembered. What, uh, are you doing back here? I, I don't mean to pry, but... First officers don't usually go digging around engineering compartments. Just a routine systems check. We've been having problems with our comms lately. Oh, that's news to me. I haven't heard anything about it. Probably because the comm system isn't working. Have you seen anyone else in here recently that might seem out of the ordinary? Maybe someone who doesn't work in engineering. Not that I can think of, but I can ask around. I'm here almost all the time, but maybe someone else noticed something? That would be great. Just be discreet about it. I don't want anyone to be alarmed. Discretion is my specialty. Well, oh, I'll leave you alone already. Oh, come to think of it, that Hotari woman was down here earlier with Dr. Duvall finishing the last of the bioscans. Tylus? That would be out of the ordinary, right? Thank you. Maybe Tylus saw something. Tylus, can I speak to you for a moment? Of course. Is something wrong? There's... something happening. I may need your help. This is important. How can I help? When you were in engineering with Dr. Duval, did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Or anyone? Not particularly. Why? I found this, hidden in a compartment down there. That's Taconian technology. Does that mean there's a Scion on board? But Dr. Duval bioscanned everyone. Every deck, every crew member, I've seen the logs. She couldn't have been more thorough. Someone evaded detection and planted that device. Which would mean they've been with us this whole time. Watching, listening. All the more reason why we have to find them. It could be anyone. That includes both of us. You want me to get scanned? Better to know for sure, right? I'll admit, I was around the Scions as much as anybody. I would feel more comfortable if you did. I understand. Clear. Now it's your turn. Sure. Clear. Don't sound so surprised. You spend plenty of time with the Scions as well. You never know. Let's get to it. The search starts in engineering. Whoever planted the device most likely did it within the last few hours. So I'll start by running a scan, tracking everyone who came through engineering over the last day, in reverse order. This could take forever to sort through the number of people that were in engineering. Filtering for outliers. People who don't work in engineering. Mm, that helps. I'll filter out the duplicates. Now this is manageable. Cross-referencing this list with everyone who's traveled to Hotari. Let's see who's left.
No. This can't be right. What? Of the people that went to Hotari and visited Engineering, it could only have been... Captain Solano. According to this, he was here while you went down to Delphi under 4. Which would have been the perfect opportunity. And no one would question him. He's the captain. As much as I hate to admit it. Assuming it's true, it does explain why he was so opposed to getting help from Portal. And he made several trips to Hotari, so they had plenty of opportunity to target him. What happened when Dr. Duval bioscanned Captain Solano? That's just it. She never did. How is that possible? Something more urgent would always come up. There was nothing she could do. But performing a bioscan is the only way to be absolutely sure. That's not going to be easy. First thing I need to do is get this device to Portal. Be careful. And good luck. I'll need it. I've found the device. Deference is gone. I have located Galvin's ship more precisely. He's in the Usonia system. So then it worked. This whole region was one of the most sacred for the ancient Takan. What many consider the birthplace of our civilization. See these comets and planetoids in the outer orbits? Based on their current trajectory, that's Galvin's destination. And legend tells us it's the location was once our largest arsenal. Not that we needed it in the late stages of the Empire, but it was there as a precaution nonetheless. What kind of weapons are in this arsenal? Uh, it's difficult to know what would have survived from the time of the Empire, but be assured that the damage they have done so far by altering your current technology will be minuscule compared to proper Taconian firepower. If Galvin and the other Scions secure the arsenal, they will become extremely dangerous. My people had such power at the height of the Empire. The Dakon were as gods, keeping absolute control over countless worlds. I must speak with them directly. However, the presence of this device is worrying. It's highly likely it was placed here by a Scion hidden among your crew. And it is unlikely this interference device was the Scion Saboteur's only trap. If we reach Galvin and the Saboteur cripples your ship, we will be at their mercy. Even my powers will not be able to protect us. Do you know who it is? They may well do more damage if left alone. Time is not on your side. I'm fairly convinced they bioformed Captain Solano. I knew there was a reason I didn't like him. That explains it. Bioforming was so rare in the time of the Empire that I am not able to detect if it has taken place. Proof of your claim is something you will have to produce yourself. Then we have to bioscan him. I'll talk to Dr. Duvall. That's quite the claim. You told me you were worried about him. But I never imagined this was what was wrong. I wouldn't be asking you if there was any other possibility. Would explain why Solano has been too busy for a bioscan lately. As the ship's doctor, you have the authority to declare him unfit to serve. If you're right, this is the worst case scenario. Challenging your own captain is a tall order. Are you sure you're prepared for this? If you fail, that's it. The end of your career. I am. I have to be. Good. You know what this is going to take. I'm in. But we can't pull this off with just the two of us. I technically have the authority to make Solano undergo a scan, but in reality, he can and will refuse to do it. We need at least another member of the senior staff to support your claim, or this could all blow up in our faces. You better think long and hard about who you can trust. Stop. 
not dead. At least stuck at impulse power. The Takan enhancements must be able to brute force limited bursts of warp output. Yeah, but they won't get to wherever they were headed at this rate. They're just limping along now. So where does that put us? Maybe I can answer that. I got the ship's heading. They've changed course. Drastically. Looks like they're headed here. The Usonia system. They might stop there. Can we use the Zeldi's comms to signal your fleet? Our comm systems are locked. Grab hold! They're going to tear it apart. Zeldi is still made by Olydian hands, despite all this Takan corruption. We'll hold. Well, we just gotta stay safe until Starfleet can find us. Your people. Is there somewhere you go when you die? Life after death? No. On my home world, some people think they can cheat death in a way by joining with the Trill Symbiont. But that's not a life to me. Hmm. What about you? Is there another plane of existence for you? With every passing battle, as I get older, I think about it more. I think there's just no way for us to know what happens after we die. Really? Maybe there's something more, maybe not. But I can't discount the possibility. You can't prove a negative. Then maybe you can understand this. My people have a special journey. When Olydians die, we rejoin our comrades, family, and ancestors. On the parade grounds of Cirella? That is just one part of it, but yes, death is not the end for us. So, even if some part of Itasca remains, by letting the Takan use her body, at best we are delaying the inevitable next step for her. At worst, we are leaving her as a prisoner in her own mind. You want to save the Transformed. So do I. Now that I've seen it happen, does it make me a hypocrite to say he has a point? What if we can't get them back? We can't leave them like that, right? I think Itasca would want to be released. I know it's awful to think about, but... If they're still alive, we can still try to help them. We lose that option once they're dead. I had a sister. A twin. It's... very rare among the true. You never told me that. She was one of the youngest hosts to ever join with the Symbian. A sentient creature that lives in our body. It's considered a great honor. The Symbian can bring centuries of knowledge and wisdom to the host. But sometimes, the Symbian personality suppresses the host entirely. My sister was the closest person in the world to me. I knew she would be different after joining. But she drew more and more distant. The room we shared growing up was foreign to the both of us. And eventually she, or whoever she'd become, cut me out entirely. So I left for Starfleet and swore I'd never go back. I couldn't stand the thought of seeing her. You should try to see her again. When all this is over, maybe things have changed for her after you've been away for years. I couldn't go back. Not now. You remind me of Itasca. I do. Bonds are not made by what runs through your veins, but the blood you spill together. Itasca was my family in that way. I want you to know there is nothing I won't sacrifice to win this fight. But if we're lucky enough to survive, 
I'd be honored if you'd count me as one of your tribe. As Itasca was. Even a couple of engineers like us? I'll take you up on that. Same here. Will they not cease this madness? What is this place? Is that... the Veskar? Another one of yours? Not anymore. They've corrupted it. Just like the Zeldi. Now there are two ships. Did this just get better... or worse? It certainly doesn't bode well for the crew of the Veskar. So many lives... stolen. It may not look like it, but this is better. It's twice as likely the Resolute will find us now. This doesn't look like the Ophelion. What are they doing here? You don't think they're just meeting their buddies? Maybe, but... Then why are their buddies here? Prepare for transfer. The storm! It's back! What happened? Hold on. I'm scanning. Tetrametric radiation is dropping. The Zeldi's dropped to minimal power levels. It's running off just the one warp core now. That means... They've sent the Cartabula to that other ship. Something wrong, Captain? No, nothing's wrong. In fact, I was just going to call for you. I'm needed down in engineering. The bridge is yours. Lieutenant Bedrosian, a word, please. Yes, Commander. What can I do for you? Listen, the captain may have been compromised. What? I have every reason to believe he has been bioformed and is now actively working against us. Hold on. This makes no sense. Did Portal do something to you? I'm dead serious. Someone is sabotaging the mission. They planted a Taconian device in engineering. Captain Solano was in engineering while we were on Delphi Ardu 4, and he purposely evaded Dr. Duval's bioscan. He's not Captain Solano anymore. He's a scion. Which would make you captain. So you're saying you're taking command of the ship? Because if you are, that's one hell of a bold move. And you better be absolutely sure you have your facts straight. As First Officer, it is my duty and responsibility to protect the interests of the ship and its crew when the Captain has been compromised. I get that part. I read the manual. But without proof, you're talking about mutiny. I have Duval's support. We're going to ask the Captain to undergo a bioscan. When he refuses, I need you to back me up. Back when we were on the shuttle, you chose my safety over the lives of a dozen Elidians. I've wondered again and again if I deserved that. If you made the right call. But if it's why I'm here now, able to help you save the Resolute, maybe the whole Federation, then I'm glad you did. So, my answer is yes. I'm with you no matter what. When do we act? Now. Dr. Duvall is already on the bridge. All right. I'm ready. It's 
now or never. Captain Solano. Commander Rydeck, we need to talk about... Doctor? What brings you to the bridge? Just a bit of housekeeping. You owe me a bioscan, Captain. I don't have time for that right now. It will only take a moment. I, I can't put this off any longer. You can and you will. All you'll find is that I'm quite reasonably under stress given the circumstances, and you aren't making it better. I'll find you in sickbay when I'm good and ready. Or, if you're gonna stand in the way of the mission, I can find you in the brig instead. Please, Captain. Denied. Remember your station. Commander Rydeck is right, Captain. We all have to follow the rules. What is this? We need you to comply with the scan, Captain. That's enough. Drop this. All of you. I'm giving you a direct order, Commander Rydeck. Stand down and go back to your post. Now. Do not make me tell you again. I've been a starship captain since before you were in the Academy. This is for your own good, Captain. This is for your own good as well. Security to the bridge. Arrest Commander Rydeck. Take her to the brig. On what charge? Conspiring with the enemy and mutiny. Get back. Give her a chance to speak. Let's hear what she has to say. That's enough, Lieutenant Bedrosian. Step aside or you'll join her in the brig. No. This is not Captain Solano. He's been bioformed. He's a scion. You're out of your mind. She can prove it. He sabotaged our efforts to track Galvin with this. He planted it in engineering while we were down on Delphi Ardu 4. Lies! Perpetrated by the only Takan in our midst, Portal 6-3. He's actively trying to divide us from within. Captain Solano has refused to be bioscanned because he knows it will reveal he's a scion. Take her to the brig or I'll do it myself. Oh! Wait! Stand down! That's an order! What is the meaning of this? Everyone hold until we get answers. This cannot happen on the bridge of a Federation starship. I can prove I'm right if you just give me a chance. If I'm wrong, then I will face the consequences. If you're wrong, there's no coming back from this. I'm going to settle this once and for all. Commander Rydick was right. Captain Solano has been compromised. He's been bioformed into a Takan. As the Chief Medical Officer of the USS Resolute, I'm relieving Captain Zachary Solano of command. Take him to the brig. I don't know what I expected, but not this. I can't believe I shot the captain. I... I don't think Starfleet likes it when you do that. Even when you're right. It doesn't look good. I might not be alive if you hadn't. Yeah. I suppose you're right.
Set course for the Usonia system. Maximum warp. It's time to face Galvin. Yes, Commander. Sorry. Captain. On your command. Do it. but with the algorithms compromised, they may not do much. Captain, that other Elidian ship is here. The Zeldi? We're outnumbered. Captain, your orders. Invasive maneuvers. Aye, Captain. Veskar's warp engines are powering up. Our warp engines are offline. That must have been their goal. They didn't want us to chase the Veskar. According to my readings, they also took the Cartabula with them. They're not breaking off. We have to destroy the Zeldi before it destroys us. Diaz and Edsalar still over there? They'll need to evacuate. <sighs> Come on. I almost have it. They gotta know we're here. Hurry. You got it? Got it. Diaz to Resolute. We read you, Diaz. This is Ermot. It's good to hear your voice. Is Edsalar... Is she with you? Everyone wants to know. She's right here. She can tell you herself. I'm not dead yet. Very good, Petty Officer. Can you get us out of here? I can't transport you out while the Zeldi's shields are up. Our phaser fire won't even get through. Is there another way off that ship? We'll find a way. Whatever you do, you'll have to be quick about it. Because we can't give you much more time. We can't evade the Zeldi forever. Understood. Diaz out! to get out of here the old-fashioned way. Lydian ships have no escape pods. We can leave out that cargo bay we transported to before. But then there's the vacuum of space to contend with. Those freight containers. Maybe we could use those to make an escape pod? Is that even possible? We're gonna make it possible. Unless you have a better idea. Let's go. Polarize the hull plating. That should allow us to take a few more hits. Enemy phaser impact dissipated. Heading, Captain? Attack pattern Beta 3. Circle around that asteroid and come back firing. Hi, Captain. Zeldi, in range. Zeldi shields down to 82%. We're doing damage, but they're hitting us right back. We'll run out of hull before we penetrate their shields. Perhaps I can be of assistance. I can modify your impulse engines to amplify their meager output and avoid more of their attacks. But I will need full access to your propulsion systems. That goes against dozens of Starfleet regulations. Not a security risk if the alternative is destruction. To me, it's simple. You can take this beating and hope you can weather it. Or will you put your trust in me? I've left everything behind for you. The least you can do is put your faith in me. Commander Ermot, give Bortle access to the propulsion systems. 
You're going to have the ship in your hands. Don't let me down. This will take a moment. ship has let up its fire. That gives us some time. All right. One of these freight containers should do the trick. Be quick. Damn it. Not this one. Here we go. Here we go. This'll work. That's great, but it's not airtight yet. No problem. We'll just seal it up. This container is extremely heavy. Even with the containment field open, it won't leave the bay quickly. I'll find something to accelerate our exit. Glancing blow. Very little damage. I cannot keep this up for long. Their phaser banks are recharging. Now's our window. We have to strike back. I agree. Their next barrage could be our last. Better make this count! Target their weapon systems. Take the teeth out of their bite. That could make them run. Just like the Veskar, we'd lose Diaz and Edzalar again. Hit their engines! We've already lost the Veskar. We need to protect ourselves first. Target their propulsion systems. I don't want them going anywhere. Targeting their engines. <laughs> Whoa. We gotta move it now. These will give us the push we need. Those are... explosives. We'll ride the blast right out of here. We're all set. I'll set the containment field to deactivate, and then run back. We can detonate by remote. We'll need to seal the doors from inside the container once we do. Before all the air sucks out of the cargo bay. Resolute. I have the away team. Go ahead. We're about to exit. We see the cargo bay containment field is deactivated. Get that tractor beam ready. And you should know, the Zeldi is set to self-destruct. If we do enough damage to the Zeldi first, it'll prevent the self-destruct sequence from completing. We can't wait any longer. We have to fire. Captain, they're almost out of there. 
We need to act fast. Hold all fire. Get out of there, Petty Officer. Do it now. You heard her. Done. Ready? Detonate! Sensors. Tractor beam activating. Locked on and ready to fire. Fire! Something else. I tracked a transporter signal to the planetoid moments before the Zeldi detonated. Sidron. There's a Takan structure there. It's the reason they were here. It's the reason we are here. Now. What's down there? Answers. From what I can tell, it's larger than the structure on Tau. Is this the Takana arsenal Galvin was after? Legend says this region once held the sacred mysteries of the Takan Empire. Our greatest treasure. Our most fearsome technology. I want a full security detail. Westbrook, Bredrosian, you're with me. Mr. Ermont, you have the con. Wait. <clears throat> You're not the first officer anymore. The captain is supposed to stay with the ship. I'm surprised Lieutenant Bedrosian didn't raise that first. I thought Captain Rydeck knew what she was doing. You're right. But this is too important for me to sit out. You'll just have to make sure nothing happens to me down there. Of course, Captain. We'll deal with the first officer vacancy when we return. Until then, Mr. Ermont? Yes, Captain. Any sign of Sidron? Not that I can see. High alert, everyone. The enemy could be anywhere. Follow my lead. Let's make this a short mission, all right? That's the plan. I'm no security officer. I'll do my best to make sure nothing happens. Captain. Another to con vault. I don't see a way in. The vault in the mines was already open. There must be some way to activate it. Look around. There must be some sort of hidden mechanism to trigger it. I don't see anything. Are you done? Hidden mechanism. 
Better to keep it simple. Sometimes the answer is staring you right in the face. Nicely done. Spread out. Let's see what we can find. And stay on high alert. We don't know where the Takan that beamed down here could be. You will need my help, Commander. How so? Traversal here is trivial for a Takan, but only a Takan. When you come across a device you cannot use, merely call my name. Will do. Thank you. Hmm. This pattern resembles the transporter device Petty Officer Maris used to escape the Resolute. Portal 6-3? You wish to make use of this device? It's a transporter of some kind? It allows Tikon to move through space instantly a short distance. Very convenient. I will activate the system for you. Where does it go? I'm not sure. The markings here must be from after my time. Well, only one way to find out. Why is this here? This is soil from the homeworld. Our capital system. This isn't an arsenal. It's a temple of the ancients. Sacred ground to the Takan. I took my oath as a guardian of the Empire in a place just like this. I cannot imagine the look of pride in my parents' eyes as they said goodbye forever. Sorry. This is the first I've seen of anything new from the Takan Empire in a very long time. I'm sure you're familiar with the feeling, that sense of loss. I thought I was ready for it, but it cuts to the core of your being. I totally understand that feeling. It's unavoidable and inescapable no matter what you do. Yes, it's that distant but familiar feeling that's forever just out of reach. Can you use this to find out more about what Galvin is after? The information's encrypted. I can only discern that it's a warship. No. It's the Aphelion. Perhaps the most powerful Taconian ship ever built. I can't access the full file, but looking through the ship schematics, it appears to be equipped with some sort of experimental, highly advanced transporter technology. Transporter technology? For what? Captain, you better come see this. There are more up ahead. From the looks of it, I'd say someone left in a hurry. Probably right around the time we showed up.
I've seen these before. In the other vault. And if all of those are the same as this, then there must be... Hundreds of millions, if not billions. All that remains of the Dakon civilization. Distinct person, encapsulated in crystalline form. Preserved for all eternity. Given the size of this vault, there must have been tens of thousands of these cases, representing billions and billions of Takan. A threat on a truly massive scale, one your Federation can't easily contend with. What you have to understand is, these life forms were preserved for the benefit of the Takan civilization, as a means of safeguarding the health and well-being of any Takan, should they fall prey to illness or injury. They were never intended to be used for this purpose. There you are wrong. This was always their purpose. To restore the glory that was lost. Please. Congratulations on your first victory in battle, Captain Rydek. You killed a great many of my compatriots, some that I've known for millennia. Are you proud of how much death you've caused? Each Takan life is precious, irreplaceable, centuries of knowledge and culture lost with each one you murder. Your friends died because of you. If you hadn't attacked us, there could have been a peaceful solution. I've seen the kind of results diplomacy gets in this era. You can hardly blame me for wanting a quicker result. Thankfully, I don't have to convince you of anything. We'll all be on the same side soon enough. You can't just bioform whoever you want. Not without a fight. Ah, but that's just it. There won't be a fight. In fact, most won't even know what's happened. One minute you're standing there as you. The next, you're standing here as one of us. He's talking about mass transformation. That's what the Aphelion was built for. The transporter. It'll reconstitute your DNA and bioform you into a Takan in the blink of an eye. This is what they'll use as ammunition. In a manner of speaking, yes. Of course, that's the simple version. But the end result will be the same. You're talking about a crime against sentient life on a mass scale. Or an evolutionary process where the strongest and most capable survive. The Aphelion is on its way here as we speak. Now it's only a matter of time. You can't delay that which is inevitable. Which makes your next decision fairly simple, brother. You are, after all, a portal. I am. Your sole purpose is to serve as a guardian of the Takan Empire. But you stand here surrounded not by your fellow Takan but by members of the Federation. By people who deny our fundamental right to exist. You swore an oath to protect the Empire. And I can only assume that's why you're here. There is only one true Takan here, and that's Portal. You're a scion, a disgrace to the memory of the Takan, brought back through unnatural means. I only tolerate your presence so long as you continue to amuse me. Which side are you on? Captain Rydak, long-range sensors suggest a massive spacecraft approaching in the distance. The time has come. I hope we speak again, brother.
Estimated time to contact, six minutes and counting. We can't stay here. We have to get back to the ship. And we have to preserve these souls. We must take them back to your ship. Those crystals are ammunition to be used against us. We have to destroy them. Bombard the site from orbit. I'll decide once we're safely aboard the Resolute. Forta transport. 